how to use to-do list for project management and your productivity. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be giving you a full tutorial on to-do list and how you can use it to increase your productivity and manage your tasks. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into the video. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to todolist.com. Now, once you're over here, this is how the website will look like. And all you have to do to get started is just simply sign up. So to sign up, simply click on the sign up button over here at the top or click on get started. I'm going to go ahead and click on the sign up and I'm going to sign up onto this website using Google. Now you can either continue with email or you can use Facebook and Apple, but I usually like to go with Google since it's connected with everything that I do and it's pretty easy. All you have to do is just simply click this button and you'll be signed up. You don't have to enter in any in additional information. Google will do everything for you and it saves you a lot of time and it makes the whole process a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up and I will catch you guys in a little bit. This is how your schedule will look like. And over here at the left side, you can see you have a couple of different options. So right now we're in the today, meaning these are over here. You're going to see all the tasks that you will have to do today. And over here at the top, you have inboxes and basically you will receive all your messages and notifications over here. And you can also add a task over here just to in case. And then you have upcoming Basically, you can add tasks for tomorrow or the day after that and basically get a whole calendar and schedule, basically make an entire schedule for your week, month or hell, even year. It has a couple of different options and it's really, really good. And then down below you have projects. Now, this is also pretty cool. Now, over here, you can see we have two different projects over here. We have the tri board and then we have the welcome. So if you click on welcome over here this is how it will look like so as you can see this is the heading let's get started with a few steps over here this is the first this is the task this is the subtask these are going to be the tasks that are going to be scheduled for the week down below you can add more tasks and stuff like that so this is how it basically looks like and if you click on this button you can collapse the whole thing and to go further you can kickstart your project with templates learn how to use to-do list and basically it's giving you a quick tutorial on how you can use it but it doesn't really matter because i'm doing it for you and then you have the boards so these are going to be the boards so over here as you can see this is the to-do list and this is the doing list and you can add more section by clicking on this button and if you've completed this task you can just have to do is just move this board over here so i'm going to go ahead and add a section over here just so you guys can understand i'm going to type in complete add section and then once you have uh, completed a task just simply click on over here now you can see this button over here you can just simply check on it so that it's completed as well now as you can see tasks completed but you can't really see where it is you have to go to a lot of lengths to see that so what i recommend doing is just simply creating a board and then just you know adding a, all your tasks to that completed board so that you can see it now if we click on this task you can see we have a couple of different options so we have subtasks we have, we have comments, we have activity, we have projects, then we have tags or labels if you want to call it. And then we have priority and then we have add reminders if you want to like, you know, add some reminders. So if you want to add a subtask, basically this is called switch between boards and list view the three dot project menu. So I'm going to click on this button and I'm going to write and I'm going to click on add tasks. And as you can see, it's added and now i just have to like uh, have the option of making it a schedule or a tri boards uh, i'm going to click on schedule and i'm going to click on today and i'm going to click on and what you have to do is just simply close this task so as you can see down below this is the subtask as you can see this is how it will look like so if you click over here we can see this is the task if you click on it it's completed it's done close it up it's done as you can see one by one and then down below over here back on the left side we have labels and then we have filters if you want to so down below we have assigned to me basically over here you're going to see tasks that are assigned to you and then you have priority one basically add tasks that are of the top priority and you want to handle them going back to the top let's go over to the to-do list over here and how you can basically add tasks so you can add tasks by clicking on this add task button over here so once you click on it type anything you want as you can see it says buy gifts tomorrow i'm gonna just type visit the gift shop and i'm just simply gonna go ahead and add it task and i'm gonna complete it and then that's basically it so i'm gonna click on cancel and as you can see this is how you basically add task and once you've completed it just simply check this box and your task will be completed and if you want to see your completed tasks 
you just have to click on this button over here on uh, over here at the left side which is monitoring your productivity and over here you will see you are making great progress stay focused and you will see your goals and you will see your tasks that have been completed for daily tasks then you have weekly and then you have karma basically giving you a overall brief uh, report on all your progress and stuff like that and then over here right below you have some hints so basically you have keyboard shortcuts you have what's new getting started guide you have templates and blog and then you have notifications so you will receive all your notifications over here in this tab and if you have any unread notifications or messages you can also view them over here and then over here this is going to be your profile icon you can visit your settings over here you can change the overall theme speaking of let me just go ahead and change it i'm gonna go ahead and pick the dark one because i i like dark mode and stuff like that and then you can just simply click on update over here in your account settings you can like add and change other productivity you can upload your photo change your name stuff like that and then in general you will have like in general settings you can change the date format the time zone and stuff like that and then you have subscriptions basically if you want to upgrade your subscription to 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 do is pro basically it will unlock some of the features for three dollars a month which contains unlimited reminders comments and filters labels and filters productivity trends automatic backing up and then you have 10 themes and then you have a couple of more and if you want to view them i will tell you about them at the end of this video so now that we know a little bit about this, let's just go over to the template site and we can see some of the different types of templates that Todoist has. So if we go over to templates over here, as you can see, these are all the templates that are available over here. So we have a templates for education, goals, management, creativity, development, marketing and sales, work, personal, boards, design and product, and then support. And over here, these are all the templates that you can see. I'm currently at all templates. So let's just go over here and click on management. So these are going to be some of the managing boards and templates that you can use. And if you click on boards, these are going to be all the board templates that we have. So project tracker. So I think this is the one we currently use. So if you click on it down below, if you scroll down below, this is how the template will look like. And to apply this template, all you have to do is just simply click on use template. So click on use template, wait for a couple of minutes because the template is being applied. And once it's applied, it'll load up and you can see this is how it will look like. So over here, we have a couple of different boards. Just as I said before, you can like add more boards. You can change the board name. You can give it different tasks and stuff like that. You can even add emojis to make it, you know, a little bit more friendlier and good looking as well. So now go moving on to pricing because I'm sure you want to know about pricing as well. So for pricing, we currently have the free plan and we can have five active projects, five collaborators, five MB file upload, three filters and one week activity history. But for the pro version, you will have 300 active projects, 25 collaborators, 100 MB file uploads, 150 filters and unlimited activity history, unlimited reminders, themes and auto backup. And it only costs you $3 per month which is billed annually, you want to like go monthly, you will have to pay $4 a month. For the business plan, it's $5 a month, which is billed annually. And if you want to like, you know, make your subscription monthly based, then you will have to pay $6 a month overall. And the things that you get, I include everything in pro and 300 active projects, 50 people per project, team inbox, team billing, admin and member roles priority support and stuff like that and you can also compare your plans as well and you can also change currency as well so if we want to change like currency click on it and you will see we have all these different currency so that is all the things that you needed to know about todoist and i hope this video was helpful if so please make sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notification guys having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye